In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you how you can use the chapter room to create chapter markers that you can use if you upload your video to YouTube and want to create YouTube chapters. You can't directly import from the PowerDirector result right into YouTube, but I'll show you a way in which you can simplify the process and maybe save you some time. So what I have on track number one is a tutorial video. And let's assume that I find some transitions that I want to mark. So if someone's watching this on YouTube, they see the content in certain kinds of chapters. I'm going to go to my chapter room. I can click on the icon or press the F11 function key. That will get me to my chapter room. Now, the chapters start with a chapter marker in 000 time. That's normal, that's good, we won't change that. All I need to do now is take my playhead or my time indicator and move it forward to a place where I feel I have a break. And then I want to introduce something else about the nature of this tutorial. I will click on the manual chapter marker and you notice it opens up my chapter track and it gives it a name for each of these. If you want to change the name easily, all you do is double click on it. It will open up the rename chapter option. I will call this gathering information. And then if I want to even take the first one, I can click on that, the default one. We'll just call this intro. Click on OK. And then let's say we have another natural break that we want to mark with a chapter. I'll move the playhead to that location. Click on the manual chapter button. And then once we have it there, instead of chapter three, I'll go ahead and give that a name. Say, in this case, it's uh, using animation properly. Then I'll click OK. I'm going to pause this part of the recording and add a whole bunch of other chapter markers that we're going to use once we work with YouTube. Now I've added more than 10 different chapters using my chapter room. What I want to do now is expand it to the right so now I can see in this slider box each of the chapters and each of their titles. If I want to change the name of a title, all I need to do is double click on it and I can edit it that way. We'll cancel out. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to take this entire pane with the chapter information and expand it. So I'm going to right click and use Dock Undock Library Window. And I've resized the window so it fits my screen. I want this to be as big as possible because I'm going con to consult this when I work with YouTube. So I want to leave this part on the screen or come back to it. I'm going to minimize it for now. And let's assume we want to finish our project. We go ahead and do any other editing and then we're going to render it and produce it. And then when it's done, we're going to load it up to YouTube. But while we're on the screen of YouTube, what I want to do is I want to take this window and display it. I'm going to click back here to Media Library, and now I get to see what these are. You notice it takes up more than a screen, and it likely will, so I can scroll through. I'm going to use this data in order to populate what I have on YouTube. So we're going to pause the video again, and then we'll get onto YouTube and show you how to apply this. Now here I have my YouTube channel on the left and I have a portion of PowerDirector on the right because I'm going to use the information you see on the right side in order to populate the information on the left side. So this is not the same tutorial as what you saw. It really doesn't matter. You can actually go into an older upload to YouTube to do this or a brand new one. Let's pretend this is the same video on the left as it is on the right. I just want to show you the process. So somewhere in the description, after you've described your video, you mark down and you write the minutes and seconds, no frames. I'm gonna start with zero, 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 colon, zero, zero. You have to do that. And that would be my intro on the right. So I have that information. Now the difference in the chapters in terms of size has to be more than 10 seconds or YouTube will not process it. Okay, let's go to the next one. If I'm looking on the right, number two is gathering information. It's at 0030, and I can call that gathering information. Now you notice it's 30 and 28 frames. 
I'm 30 frames per second, so if I want to be a little more precise, I could actually change this number to 31 if I wanted to. Then I go to the next one down, and the next one is using animation properly. It's 125.29, which is pretty close to uh, 01.26, so I'll type that in. I just look on the right, using information properly. Once I have that in, I press enter again. And then I look at the next one. Number four is a time trick at 0224. Pretty close there. Now you can put a dash after this or, n or nothing. You need at least one space. And we can continue working this all until we get through the list. Now the reason I'm doing it this way, I used to th think we could do it with a snip and take pictures of what was on the right. And you can still do that if you want. But if you have more than one screen, you have to have more than one snip. And so what I find here is I can slide down. I may even have to move my window in this case to the bottom of the screen. But I can slide down to cover more than I can see in one particular screen. So back on YouTube, I just finished copying the data from the right and typing it in on the left. I have it here. I, I don't have to rely on doing it inside YouTube. I can do it using the chapters in PowerDirector. And when you're done, you just click on Save. Now I'm going to preview that particular video. Now if I hover over this modified video, you notice it starts out with the word intro here for the chapter. And as I move the marker, there's gathering information, my first one. Using information properly at 142. And the time trick at 241. And so it automatically adds these markers. If I had done all the ones that were in my model, I would have 12 of these. It's that easy to add these elements, these chapter lines, inside of a YouTube video. And I prefer, again, using this in the context of using the PowerDirector chapter markers in order to be as precise as possible on where those chapters are going to belong when I take it to YouTube. I hope you find this helpful and maybe even a bit of a time saver.